Mga idol at kabayan, isa sa pinakamalakas na barkong pandigma at fighter jets ng Amerika kasama ng Pilipinas sa pagpapatrol sa West Philippine Sea. Ito na ba ang bagong diskarte ng Pilipinas laban sa maagresibong China? Grabe talaga si Uncle Sam pag Pilipinas na ang pinag-uusapan. In fact, the United States sent a carrier, carrier strike group to the joint patrols. No, it, it... Kasama ng apat na warship ng Pilipinas ang USS Carl Venson, nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, sakay ang mga FA-18 Super Hornet at F-35, 5th generation stealth fighter jets, at tatlo pang mga barkong pandigma nito. Aba-aba-aba, dalawang barko ng China, minaman-manan ang mga barko ng Pilipinas at Amerika. Pilipinas naglunsad ng radio challenge sa mga barko ng China, pero walang sumagot sa mga ito. China warship 174, this is Philippine Navy. Warship 160 in accordance with international and Philippine national laws. You are within Philippine exclusive economic zone. You are not responding. Your refusal to respond will be reported to concerned authorities. Over. China, hanggang tingin na lang sa Pilipinas at Amerika. Ito ang mga balitang ating pag-uusapan dito lang sa Good News Philippines. Huwag kalimutang ilike ang video, mag-subscribe, mabilis lang ito. Promise! Bagong taon, bagong diskarte ng Pilipinas at Amerika sa West Philippine Sea. Ipinakita sa China at sa buong mundo. Hindi lamang isa o dalawang barkong pandigma ang kalahok sa pagsasanay na ito mga kabayan dahil apat na mga warship mula sa Pilipinas at isang carrier strike group naman mula sa Amerika ang magiging katandem ng Pilipinas sa maritime cooperative activity o isang joint maritime patrol sa West Philippine Sea. Noong nakaraan ng ating ibinalita na pumasok sa Sulusi at Palawan ang USS Carl Venson Career Strike Group may nagsabi na dumaan lang pala pero ngayon ipinakita ng Amerika dala ang pangmalakas sa mga barkong pandigma na puno ng iba't ibang sandata. Dagdag pa dito, dala din ng USS Carl Venson Nuclear Powered Aircraft Carrier ang mga fighter jets nito tulad ng FA-18 Super Hornet at ang pinakabagong F-35 Lightning II, isang 5th generation stealth fighter jets. Sa West Philippine Sea, ang ginagawang pagpatrol ng puwersa ng Amerika kasama ang Pilipinas sa karagatang nasasakupan ng ating bansa ay isang patunay na handa ang Estados Unidos na gawin ang tama at naaayon sa international na batas. Kabilang sa mga pagsasanay na gagawin ng Amerika at Pilipinas sa West Philippine Sea ay ang arrival o departure passing exercise, communication checks, resupply at sea, at cross deck exercise. Kabilang din dito ang joint patrols, gunnery exercise, officer of the watch, maneuvers, at fixed wing flight operation para sa huling araw ng aktividad. Ilan sa mga kalahok sa panig ng Armed Forces of the Philippines ay ang mga barkong PRP Ramon Alcaraz, PS-16, BRP Gregorio del Pilar, PS-15, BRP Davao del Sur, LD-602, BRP Jose Rizal, FF-150, apat na FA-50 light fighter jets, AW-109 attack helicopter, at ang AW-159 anti-submarine wildcat helicopter. Habang sa panig naman ng Amerika ay ang USS Carl Venn CVN-70, aircraft carrier, USS Princeton, CG-59, isang cruiser, dalawang destroyers, ang USS Terre, DDG-104, at USS Key, DDG-100, mga helicopter tulad ng MH-60S at MH-60R, Seahawks, mga fighter jets tulad ng FA-18 Super Hornet at F-35 Lightning II. Yan ang lakas ng puwersa na ipinadala ng Amerika para sa Pilipinas. Nihayag naman ng Philippine Navy kung gaano kaimportante ang Joint Maritime Patrol na ito ng Pilipinas at Amerika. We've conducted series of activities. Um, number one, the comm check, communication check wherein we primarily want to ensure connectivity and command and control of participating forces both from the Philippines and as well as from the U.S. The RPUS Joint Exercise wants to ensure seamless integration of capabilities at the same time testing our techniques, tactics and procedures on how to go about and address evolving threats and challenges in the maritime domain and also as well, as well other um, threats uh, both um, 
traditional and uh, non-traditional threats. Inaasa na magtatapos ang mga aktibidad na ito sa parehong may layuning mapalakas ang ugnayan ng dalawang bansa, partikular na sa depensa, lalo't kasalukuyang humaharap sa mga hamon ang Pilipinas sa pinag-aagawang teritoryo sa West Philippine Sea. Ang West Philippine Sea ay sa Pilipinas, ito ay bahagi at pag-aari ng Pilipinas na inaangkin ng China. Naganda pa lamang ang Pilipinas sa naturang Joint Maritime Patrol sa Amerika, dalawang Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy warship ang namataan sa loob ng Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone ayon sa mouthpiece ng China. Nagsasagawa din ng pagpapatrolya ang mga barko nito sa lugar. Gumagawa lang ng kwento itong China mga kabayan pero ang totoo pa kay nitong manmanahan ang mga barko ng Pilipinas at Amerika. Halatang inis na inis na ang China sa mas pinalakas pa na alyansa ng Pilipinas at Amerika. Sinubukang i-radio challenge ng Pilipinas ang mga barko ng China. Ngunit wala sa mga ito ang tumugon sa mga hamon ng Pilipinas. China warship 174, this is Philippine Navy warship 160 in accordance with international and Philippine national laws. You are within Philippine exclusive economic zone. You are not responding. Your refusal to respond will be reported to concerned authorities. Over. Member of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and of course of the Philippine Navy, we follow a certain policy and guidelines. We call this as the rules of engagement. So uh, this is our Bible in ensuring that in the event of uh, disruptive, um, at the same time dangerous maneuvers from any other countries that want to disrupt um, the, 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 the exercise will be uh, Uh, obliged to follow this one. Inumpirma naman ang Pilipinas na mas marami pang ganitong pagsasanay ang gagawin ng Pilipinas at Amerika sa hinaharap. Yes, we're going to see more of that. And uh, the second installment of the Joint Patrols has been very successful. In fact, the United States sent a carrier, carrier strike group to the Joint Patrols. No, It, it really shows their commitment uh, to the rules-based international order and We are hopeful that there will be that there will be more of this. There are uh, discussions in the Mutual Defense Board and in the Security Engagement Board for more routine goodwill activities by both the Philippines and the United States. And uh, the purpose of this uh, mutual cooperation activity, you know, we, we call it an MCA because it is not just a joint patrol. Mm -hmm. It's um, not just to patrol, as I said, but also to conduct different exercises. to ensure that both are both navies and both armed forces are ready for any eventuality that may occur mm -hmm. in the west uh, we are preparing our country uh, along uh, all fronts no uh, right now uh, the west philippine sea is just one issue we have with the united uh, with china but it is not the totality of our relationships with china again uh, the joint patrols are not um, are not meant to confront China. Uh, it is not being conducted outside of the West Philippine Sea or our uh, exclusive economic zone. It is just being conducted in our exclusive economic zone because we want um, for us to exercise our sovereign rights and sovereignty over uh, the, the West Philippine Sea. Mm -hmm. So it's not meant to heighten tensions. It is simply to ensure that our treaty ally, the United States, and the Philippines can work together in case of any eventuality. Laban Pinas.